Well, it's gonna be the Alabama blue now. I live in Alabama about 15 years. Everybody in Alabama want me to play this record. And it took me just about long as I've been away to get it straight. Alabama is a good old. All right, no trip to Talladega, Alabama is complete without going to Dreamland Barbecue. I uh, went here first time about five years ago, uh, I believe with my brother Bob there. And uh, I know big Steve Post is a huge fan of this place. Uh, my buddy Steve Post there with MRN. Uh, Eagle and I are in, and Erica are coming here tonight for some great ribs. 14th Street, yeah, she's waving high in front of the camera. Uh, you want some good ribs? Dreamland Barbecue. Uh, but we're waiting on Eagle, and I'm hangry. And uh, he's not here yet, so we're going to pick on him when he gets here. Oh, yeah. Real simple. Bread, sauce. Got to love it. Oh, oh, finally. Finally, Eagle arrived. Dude, dude, uh, dude, 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 let me see, let me see your clock, let me see your watch. Dude, come on. Wow. Look at all those ribs, waiting for me to eat them. Ah, oh. the heat source underneath. Look at that, folks. That's some ribs. Look at that. That right there. What do you think, Eats? All right, tell me about uh, Dreamland. I've missed this. It's a shame that Talladega kind of bookends the season because we get it early and then we get it late, you know, so there's a lot of time in between. But we're at Dreamland Barbecue. Yeah, I mean, this is, you know, you don't have to sit here and serve all this fancy stuff with parsley and, and, and all that crap on the side and waste that stuff. Just give, just give a man some sauce and some bread and he's good to go, at least for an appetizer. Well, Erica went with the um, Erica went with the oh pork sandwich. That looks pretty good. I've never seen the sandwich here because we always no. get ribs. <laughs> plate that you see that I'm eating. This is called the dieter's plate. It's a half slab of ribs. So uh, since I'm trying to watch my girlish figure, I'm going with the uh, the low carb half rack of ribs. And Give me a big old bite. <laughs> Nothing like good all American meat. This is one of those places right here where you can easily, if you order a full slab of ribs, get the meat sweats. Yeah. You probably never heard of that. No. The meat sweats is when you eat a lot of meat and you start to get those little beads of sweat pouring down from your forehead. Those are the meat sweats. And uh, look at these things. The slow smoke. Mm. Ain't nothing like them nowhere, as they say on the slogan. Mm. Wow. Loving it. Erica gives it thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. Round two. <laughs> Wait, look, these oh these don't look like the ribs I had earlier. What happened? Me and Matt both uh that the, the, the dieter's plate really didn't work all that well. So uh, we decided to go in for more. Round two, baby. Woohoo! Why did we order some more ribs? Meat <laughs> meat <laughs> How are those meat sweats coming? <laughs> Meat sweats are uh, not here. We're good. All right, we're lucky we have a third member tonight because look at these hands. <laughs> I don't think we could flip uh, with these hands. Eagles, uh, Eagles, like elbow deep in some ribs right now. We're on our second order of ribs. What happened over here? I'm a mess. Oh, we had a caution over here. <laughs> trouble, uh, trouble. Turn two. Trouble. I, I was on my fourth rib. I got a little loose and uh, put down a lot of fluid on the track and throw a caution. I'm uh, pretty embarrassed about that. I know the food is good when you're wiping sauce off the side of your face. <laughs> and you don't wipe it on a paper towel, you just go ahead and eat it. <laughs> uh, too late. I just want one bean. Think I could do it? Has, anybody, has this ever been done? Are you destroying my beans? Try that one right there. One bean. That is talent. It's 
That was the best single bean I've ever had in my life. We have now moved to banana pudding. A great dessert. Thank God it's a small bowl after those big ribs. You can't see it, but that's a really tiny bowl. And uh, that's not a bad thing. All right, review from the rookie. Uh, two thumbs up. Dude, it was just, you know, it's just like it always is. It's freaking phenomenal here. That's why we come here every time. I mean, I just, two hours ago, I just landed in Birmingham. And I'm already at Dreamland Barbecue. That says it all. That's all star. I'd like to thank the boys at the shop. They put a good stomach underneath me and uh, we were able to get it done today. Me and Eeks and uh, I can't even keep a straight face. Dreamland Barbecue rocks. Bottom line. Talladega, you got to drive 45 minutes away, but it is worth every, every taste of it. Or second of it. Or bite of it. Or, yeah.